Hello, my name is Joseph Conde, and my study is about the relationship between employees, benefits, and work support system in cancer patients. The aim of this study was to research the emotional, psychological, mental support that workplaces provide to cancer patients and their perception of the support they receive. Workplace support is defined as those workplaces that are providing support after treatment and have paid time off. Introduction to the study. Cancer is a very serious medical condition that affects today's part of the population. It's unfortunate that people have to go through treatments and invasive procedures throughout the world. Dealing with these aspects is tough for any person, but along with cancer and treatment, the individual has to continue to be their best and live a normal life. While aspects in the personal life may be a bit easier to integrate and adapt while undergoing treatment, work life may not be as easy. Statement of the problem. Individuals undergoing cancer treatment continue to work and take as little time off as possible so that they can maintain their regular aspects in their life. Maintaining a regular work schedule may not be such a difficult task throughout certain parts of the treatment, but through radiation and other invasive procedures, it is crucial for an individual to take time off to fully recover. On FMLA, the time off given to employees is unpaid and while an employer is required to maintain health benefits through the leave, if an employee previously paid part of all health insurance, they are expected to continue to make the same payment to ensure no interruption in their coverage. The purpose of this study is to find the relationship between work benefits and supporting individuals physically, mentally, emotionally, and psychologically. This study talks about an effect of an enormous part of the U.S. population, which most of us know someone who has or is currently battling cancer. Regardless of the type of cancer, the seriousness should not be overlooked. Is there a relationship between employees' benefits and work support system in cancer patients? Are there enough resources or gaps that need to be filled? I believe that there are several things that can be improved to assist cancer patients and their financial burden throughout their difficult times. And that there is similar programs such as Social Security for the Elderly that should be set in place for individuals with cancer. Theoretical framework. There is limited research published on cancer patients and workplace support. Workplace support can be defined as the mental, physical, psychological, emotional support from their workplace. To develop a framework, two concepts were considered, the employee's benefits and workplace support for cancer patients. Literature review. A diagnosis of cancer can be very stressful and cause emotional distress for individuals and their families. According to ZHU, there are many symptoms associated with individuals with cancer in which after cancer diagnosis, they develop depression, anxiety, and become more fatigued. In a study also by ZHU, the results exhibited that there was no relationship with fatigue and patients receiving psychosocial care. The results also showed a positive correlation with depression. However, 
in study by Amir, results showed that cancer patients encourage individuals to act financially if they are aware of the financial hardships that cancer procedures and treatments can cause. If they have support, there are many studies that, that support with patients with cancer that could show a positive increase in effects when they know that they have support in a goal adjustment. According to Amir, there are multiple publications on income loss on cancer-related periods of not being able to attend work during treatment period. Furthermore, most people return to work and do not have a chance to recover because of their financial problems concerning their cost of family living and their increase in expenditures, which can cause the stress to the individual. Methodology. The approach taken for this study is a qualitative research design because it uses a survey system on SurveyMonkey to answer questions for cancer individuals using the degree of theoretical sampling. Participants in sampling, uh, the participants were randomly chosen. Uh, the snowball sample was done via social network. Uh, there was an email uh, survey measuring the, you know, using SurveyMonkey, um, where 15 surveys were analyzed and determined the actual result of the purpose of the study. Instruments that I used to gain the data was a survey questionnaire consisted of 10 items in which um, each question pertained to the study uh, that re had relevance to uh, benefits, cancer patients, insurance, and diagnosis. The survey questionnaire consisted of questions like, have you been diagnosed previously or currently with cancer? What is your gender? What is your age? How well did your provider explain your treatment options? In the last 12 months, has a lack of money kept you from going to the doctor or not? During the past four weeks, how disruptive were your physical health or emotional problems to your normal social activities with family, friends, neighbors, or groups? Does your workplace provide any cancer benefits? Does your workplace have a support system for cancer patients? If answered no, would you want your job to have these support systems? Do you currently have health care coverage? These were the questions that were asked so that they can determine which way in a rich direction I was going to be heading with this study. Uh, of course, we'll see the results in the upcoming slides. Um, they're, they're pretty much, like I said, they're generated from SurveyMonkey, and there were about 15 of those participants who had answered all the questions, and based off of the result, uh, we were able to proceed and move forward with a, a conclusion or a final result. Ethical considerations, um, it was anonymous and voluntary participation. They had the opportunity uh, to opt in or out of the study at their discretion. Uh, the beginning of the, of the uh, study had a question that pertained to whether they had cancer or not. And if they answered no, the study would simply close out and not allow them to continue. All the participants were over the age of 18, so there was really no need for parental consent. And uh, at the end, the results from SurveyMonkey showed that half of the participants' workplace did not offer any type of support for them, or they were misinformed about their work benefits.
other results showed that there was currently uh, workplace support in place, whereas the other report states that 90% of the participants said that they wish they had some sort of workplace support system in place. One of the questions that was asked in the survey in SurveyMonkey was, does your workplace provide any cancer benefits? The results from SurveyMonkey showed that half of the participants' workplace did not offer any type of support for them, or they were not informed of their benefits from their workplace. The following question was asked to participants on how disrupted their medical conditions toward their normal life activities during their cancer process was. And about 40% of them answered that it was very disruptive and 47% answered somewhat disruptive. Together, both results at total to 80% of the participants answering that their physical health is much different than before. The results conclude that most employers should be able to explain their benefits in details to the employees so that they know what their options are in devastating circumstances. If the employees are unaware of their cancer benefits, this can raise concern when they get diagnosed and can increase anxiety, depression, and mental instability. There was a large percentage compared to the survey amounts that did not know their benefit options for cancer. According to the results, the cancer process really is life-changing because they cannot do things that they could do before. This probably makes it difficult to continue their normal job duties without being affected and losing their job. This could also be the reason that most employees come back to work early because of their fear of losing their job and not having a monthly weekly salary to help with the finances. Limitations to the study was that there are insufficient surveys answered. This can affect the results of the study because there are not enough people to survey, which can possibly provide an inconsistency in the research. Also, the age of the participants. Most of the participants were young adults, and it would have been a lot better to have an equal number of participants in the study of each age group. Further research tells us that we should include workforce data on benefits and support groups offered to cancer patients. In conclusion of this study, I am in hopes that employers are going to see this and take back with them that there is a need for cancer patient workplace support system. These cancer patients go through a lot as it is through the chemo, the radiation, invasive procedures as mentioned in the study previously. And it would be good for these employers to have this support system for them in place so that they know that they're feeling the appreciation, they're feeling acknowledged and cared for during their, their journey. I hope moving forward that this also brings awareness to cancer patients that they are not alone that there is help out there, there is support groups, support systems, and there is employers out there based off of the results of the study that are willing to offer that support system. And maybe in the future, more and more employers are gonna have this support system in place, whether it would be a group session maybe a change in, in uh, their benefits, maybe a, an allowance for their medical bills while they're going through this journey. Whichever change it may be, 
hopefully in the future, it will be a positive and better outlook for these cancer patients who are looking for so much more. Thank you for listening to my study. And I hope that again, I have uh, made the conclusions necessary and that this awareness is taken a long way. Thank you again.